Okay, here we are, two years on, back to the off-grid solar system. We have since upgraded our batteries in an R18 kilowatt. So that gives us 36 kilowatt of battery storage. You can see the three multi-chargers, one for each phase. This is for the three phase system. This is your main fuses for the batteries. You can see the total number of batteries that we have. Keep them on top of wood to stop them getting any damp getting into the batteries. These are gel filled AGM batteries. It's totally sealed so they shouldn't give any problems. This is the SMA inverter. That gives us the total units that we've produced through the solar since we started. This is the main solar power off switch so as to isolate the whole system. And this is the main controller. This is the solar control and Vectron. Now you can see at the minute we're charging at 824 watts. Battery voltage is around 50 volts. PV inverter. Where currently there's 1.1 kilowatt coming in. This is in the, come up into the winter time, so there's not so much sun about. Then the power comes out of the solar. It goes through the AC sensor, and that puts it into this single phase board. This is the main isolating switch for the solar. This is the main isolator for the generator. And over this side we have our heat and hot water controls. So what happens is whenever your solar gets to a certain frequency, say it's 50.5 Hz, this wee frequency switch down in here will tell this machine to come on and this is a solar eye boost so whenever there's excess power this generates hot water so it brings on the immersion heater there's two different channels here we've got two immersion heaters in the solar hot water it gets its signal through an AC clamp which just clamps on to the main feed coming in and this is constantly monitoring the much power that's been sent from the solar into the single phase system. So if I switch it on here, you should see the wee light starting to come on. So currently there's not enough excess power to bring it on or else you would see the green light come on. Once the green light would come on then your solar outburst would kick in and it would send the excess to heat the hot water. Similarly on this side we have an R frequency switch, the same idea, this one you could set higher to 51 hertz, when it gets to 51 hertz it brings on this heat switch which activates the contacts in here which brings on the heaters and those are radiant heaters up to 3 kilowatt at a time. That's basically how it works and you just control it with a single switch. So this time of year we don't need it on because there's not enough power. So you can either have the hot water on or the heat on, depending on which switch you put down. Let's go back here to see what we're producing. So you can see it's still around the 1.1 kilowatt and it's half 12 in the day. But at least we're starting to charge up the battery. We're at 89%. It was 80% this morning. So it's slowly climbing up. So, so far the system is working well. The only time we're short in power is the winter months. So from now through October right through to March it's when the solar would struggle a bit 
That's why we put the extra batteries in to give us that extra more storage. So now the generator doesn't need to come on as often. The generator will only come on once you set it to a certain preset voltage, which you can go into your controller. And there you can see we have it set once it gets to 44.7 volts. And the condition is reached for 5 seconds, then the generator will start and it will bulk charge up the battery until it gets to 55 volts and then it switches itself off. There's different settings you can set it to, but this is the voltage range we're working with at the minute 44.7 on and 55 off, and that should keep the batteries fully charged until the next morning. And if the sun comes up, and then we start getting back to the solar again. So it's basically on a very wet or overcast day is when you're not making so much power. But lucky enough today there is a bit of sun out so we are getting the solar charged. So overall the system's working well. I'm very pleased with the, the off-grid system. Not depending on the mains power anymore makes a big difference. Until the next time, that's all for now.